Hey you folks, it's Fatherland Gaming here. And so today we have the first episode of the Muscovy campaign. Um we have it in iron mode. So one save and if that corrupts or if we die then yeah, that's it, we're gonna have to start again as a, a different country. I wanna make this quite a quick let's play. Um what do I want from it? Well, probably want to expand Moscow reform Russia obviously by taking Novgorod um, I'm not sure if I want to um, colonize the whole way to the back of um, near Asia I think more person into Europe would be more my kind of scene but attacking nations like Crimea the Golden Horde um, Gazan and Nogue no no guy, no guy, whatever that is. Um, yep, that's for a game down into the Ottomans and stuff. So we're just gonna jump straight in here, straight into the game, and I'll bring you back when we are there. So we're back in the game here, and um, as you see, Muscovy. They start off with a relatively large number of troops with fourteen regiments. Um, compared to my biggest rival, Novgorod's 10. Lithuania, I obviously don't know anything about them, along with Sweden. So, first things first, maybe attacking the Golden Horde and trying to get a few of the good provinces from here. I always know that Lithuania always do want to attack the Crimea because they have some good provinces down here in the south like um, Kharkov which has a back, uh, base tax of 7 which is very very good along with Crimea so I will be looking to try and push in here as quick as possible get these two uh, regions from the Golden Horde and push right into Crimea um, also Novgorod's for, for a game for a game so we're hoping, hoping to do pretty well in this um, let's play Obviously, you're going to give me a lot of advice on what to do, but straight away, I think the most important thing is trying to get maybe morale of armies um, advisor. Obviously, if I can get diplomatic reputation as well, there we go. And no one there. So, we are attack level 3 along with everyone else. You know. Um, there we go. So everyone's tag level three. They all start tag level three, but they're bound to be a um map mode for tag groups. I'm sure there is somewhere. Um. It's not looking likely. It's looking quite unlikely now, if anything. Okay. So, no. Uh, I don't think there is. So, discovery spread. So, we have found up here. But sure, it's wasteland, so no point in knowing about it so who first well first of all we're gonna sort out the economy here we're making three gold a month but we can add even more to that if we just move down to four Lithuania I'm gonna open up these tabs here obviously I have no mods on because of the England let's play and um, where we have won the hundred year war about to attack Burgundy in episode number six I think but the game keeps on crashing for some reason so um it's on hold at the minute until I can try and get that fixed. So who do I want to ally myself with? No one really likes me because I tolerated heretics. Okay everyone Hates me except Georgia. Okay, hate me, hate me. Oh, there, Albania. 
Naples hate me. England hate me. Austria hate me. I don't hate me, it's minus ten, it's not massive, but it's I think it does stop me from getting uh alliance with all of them. Yeah. So I can actually get alliance with someone who has negative opinion. So they don't actually fear us at all. Um so we're actually gonna What about our subjects? Right. Fifty four ten years kept. Okay. Um how many years? Ten years and perm ten years. So to speed it up we could just cancel um the uh, vassalization break the vassalization and attack them. Um seems like a quite a good idea. But I think we'll just instead of just we'll just attack these ones and get a claim and use a bit of diplomatic power. So what do we have? Form alliance with Zver 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 Okay, so we're gonna view our country first to see how many diplomatic relations we have. We can get another one. And I don't wanna waste it on like Zver or anyone like that. I wanna go someone big powerful country. Maybe Hungary. And it'll help me out in the war against Poland and Lithuania that is inevitable to come. So yeah, I'm hungry. So we're gonna improve our relations there. Trying to get a military alliance. On this side we are going to probably get a claim. But we're so we can have a claim on any of these ones. The best one I always think of getting is Neva because it's the trade node capital which means that it's important centre of trade but it yeah Neva Estre so it's um got a bit more trade power than anywhere else so that's the important centre of trade is Novgorod itself So, we're going to look for tax base. Up was mine, that had five. Okay, so we have three here, three here, three here. Two, 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 two. Oh, that's one's up here. So we let them go for the meantime. So, the likes of them, them three there, would be good. Though I would like something like inner mound to um, get in and attack the Livonian order um, I, I will be able to attack them whenever I annex Pescuth so I will need a way in so I'd probably take Colm as one of the starter ones also a war with Lithuania wouldn't be bad Um Lithuania L Lithuania has twenty seven thousand troops. Nope, we'll not attack Lithuania. Maybe attack Xan Gzin Gzan Can't spell So that seventeen thousand that's the whole army there. Um Us paired with all our allies. Um, seven, eleven, twenty-five thousand troops. Build a few more before we get there. But I think a war with oh, Penza, seven. I think a war with Gazan, Gazan, could work out quite well for me. So we're just gonna 
fabricated claim here on Kazan. Um, take our leader here, and we've got. Okay. There we go. We've got revolt possible. So we can subjugate Novgorod, which means that any of them owns Novgorod does not exist, and every province has to be owned by me. Um, improve our prestige stability and alliance with Ver de Ver no so you can go up disputed succession no one really there that I'm worrying about too much I probably should attack Razan as well um six Panza or Raizan. No one else is going to take Panzer for a while, so I think Raizan would be the smarter option, actually. I'll speed this up to number two. Speed two. So we are making about five gold. Not a whole pile, but it's something. So we've gained a trade dispute. We're not going to use that. See if we actually have a CB already against these ones. I would be very unhappy. But we just have a. Uh, so we've just been embargoed by Novgorod. And we have a trade dispute with Novgorod. They have rivaled me. I didn't rival them. They're, they're not worth my time to revival. Um, that's a six tax base as well. We just attack them after a while and, and take them out. So that's still paused. I didn't realize. So we're gonna build a few more troops, maybe. Um. So there's my keys sorted out. Um, just goof these ones here. They're gonna royal marriage. Oh yes. Oh yes. And I'm inspecting one from Perm. So, France declared war upon their new enemy, Austria. That was very stupid of France, to be honest. This took a two stability hit. <laughs> oh, sometimes I don't know what they're doing. We'll just keep going here and see if Hungary will be willing to talk about a Royal March. Still no. I could send them a gift, but I need to get their opinion of me up, or my opinion of them up, should I say. So we're going to speed up here again and still not war with anyone. They are the right culture and right religion here so it's been a severe winter here in Russia I think oh yes so so Golden Horde declared war in Crimea Who's at war with who? So, against the Golden Horde, the Ottomans, Crimea, Akudungi, and Nogai. So, they joined. 
Ottomans joined, they joined, they joined. That wasn't a smart move from the Golden Horde there to try and take on so many. So, so this is a mild winter now. Okay, there's no winter at all now. I suppose it is May. It looks as if Novgorod is on the verge of attacking. So, I missed out there and we just got uh, a war declared on us by Xan. We do have more troops by, by far. We just need to put our maintenance up here and start to move the troops over. What are they looking? So they're just looking to show superiority and probably take some provinces. No one joined on their side. We have the good leader in charge here. And they, they do have quite a substantial army now. more than what I have so I think that a few units won't go missing um, yeah, we're gonna 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 1, 2, 3 there we go so we lose a substantial army here against the Kazanians. That's what they're called. So we do have them trying to attack us here from multiple directions. We're going to pull back into Vladimir. We're not going to get much of a protection there. But they are following us, 8th of October, 3rd of October. Um, 11th and the 8th. Um, there's no difference in the tech. Who's controlling their army? Who's son Kwame? So I'm going to go out here and quickly check at their leader. Um, so, so one, three, f so it's five all together. We have a three, four, three. No defensive position here at the minute. But hopefully they're not going to be willing to. No, they so they, they called off the attack, and we're going to bring in the rest of our troops here. See the fourteenth. 21st we've no real way to get out except to bring this army in so we're going to continue to bring the armies this way
So most of the troops are here now. We are starting to suffer a little bit of attrition. The supply limit is at 10. So we're going to pull back to Moscow. No, we're not. We're going to get our first bit of combat here. So we have another 12,000 here, and we're going to put in the leader of my my general here. I'm going to march this army up to. I'm going to go to here, to here, here, to here, to here. There we go. So if I keep on holding these ones out, this will wear them down with attrition. So we're going to hold the army there and carry them forward again. So that's just going to be an easy victory there. I'm going to pull back into Kazan and try and take it over. So we destroyed their army there. I'm going to pull south into Penza and we are going to take Penza in this war. So does this mean that I will get them, I can annex them, or is that like a vassalization kind of thing? So it's, no I'm not going to take 52 ducats, I will take the protectorate. So from here we're going to slag the army. There's far too much attrition to be taken. So we're going to move these. Since here we're going to march there. The rest are going to march from there to there and send more men over to the east. So they're not going to get away here. We're going to slaughter them there. Take the men here. Leave a blockade. Um, Samara would be a very good province to take, but we're not. We're gonna make them a protectorate. So that's gonna be the first episode of this new Let's Play. 
do stay tuned for more um comment and subscribe this will here be quite a regular upload and um well i hope to see you all next time so see you later folks